All right, guys, we got the auto shark relaunch sequence. Um, I'm going to go through it for you guys. Try to make sure everybody knows what what they need to do. Um, I want to say right off the bat that this relaunch looks very well done, very well thought out. It looks like they have a great plan to go ahead with. Um, it's very well written. It's the best document that I've read so far in these ecosystems. Everything else is clearly written by non-English speakers. This is well written, well laid out. And besides all that, the actual content, the actual plan seems great. It seems like they thought about just about everybody. And hopefully um, things go down just the way that it's described. So let's get into how this is going to work. Um, the first thing is just kind of like a little intro and they're letting us know that if this plan goes according to plan, if it goes well, all of this should be accomplished within the next two days. Not only that, the first thing that we're waiting for in this pre-launch section, we've been waiting for it for a couple days, so you guys might already know, we're trying to get that watch pug audit verified. Now that's something that Panther Swap is requiring, which is a good thing. And I know the Auto Shark team is just as concerned and just um, they, they want that audit as well. So they think they're saying they expect the full audit report to be done within the next couple of hours. Now I assume they wouldn't say something like that without having some sort of verification on that claim. So that's pretty good news. This, this may kick off within just a couple hours. So everybody should be getting ready. Okay, how's it gonna go down? This, keep in mind that this is the order that it is gonna go down in. So this is in chronological order. And if you read through this, which I highly recommend you do, you'll see why it's in the order that it's in. It makes sense. All of this makes sense and it's pretty nice. So first of all, they're gonna establish the JAWS BNB and the JAWS BUSD farms on Panther Swap, but they're not gonna be minting JAWS yet. So your rewards, as it says right here, are not gonna consist of JAWS, but instead users will be getting 100% of their LP back with no performance fee deducted by Auto Shark. So that's good that for people that had those LP tokens when it got exploited, you're going to be getting them back basically. And that's pretty lit. After that, the release of JAWS for JAWS pool and JAWS for WBNB pool. Those are going to be not, those are not going to be capped, which is great news during the launch of the first version of shark. They capped the pools, which isn't really cool. Obviously, they had their reasons for it, and I'm sure their reasons were well thought out. But, I mean, you can't really sacrifice equality and fairness for APYs and um, price dumpings. Like, things have to be fair. You can't, you can't have a capped pool, no word on it, like, no, oh, it's going to be open in two hours, or nobody even knew it was going to be capped. So, you know, I'm sleeping in the middle of the night and now I can't stake my jaws or my shark, but all these other people are staking their shark. That's not right. So they're not doing it this time, which is awesome. Already a big improvement. Stage two, jaws jungle compensation pool on Panther swap. So let's say you were a single staker. You just had jaws. You were just holding jaws or you were, you were staking jaws as a single pool. This is going to be more for you. So one thing I recommend is take some time and figure out what your position was before the X point. Were you single staking? Did you have LP tokens? Did you, were you, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There are multiple things that you could have participated in and different strategies you could have employed. So recognize what you were doing, how it lines up in their compensation plan and what you need to do to participate and get compensated. Now this stuff is mostly going to be pretty easy. Like it's not going to be super complicated, but you do need to take a minute to figure out where you're at, where you're going to be and the path that's going to get you there. All right. 
So this is pretty cool. There's going to be a Jaws for WBMB jungle created on Panther Swap. This is what I'm going to be doing. This will be the initial compensation pool for capital injection coming from the BNB raised from the AutoShark IPO. So like they said before, they're going to use some of the BNB that they raised on the IPO to give back out to compensate the shark holders. Um, now it just depends. Maybe you are an LP holder, so you got to get your you got to get your um, plan ready. All right. As you might know, um, PantherSwap instituted their jungles, which as of right now, you can stake Panther for BNB or Panther for BUSD. And now they're going to have a JAWS one where you can get BNB from your JAWS. Now, I don't know if this is going to last forever or it's just going to be for the term of compensation. My guess is going to be last forever. And that's pretty cool. That's just a guess, though. So after that, that's when they're going to airdrop everybody. If you are holding Shark, excuse me, if you are holding Shark, you're going to get compensated with the JAWS before the exploit. If you're holding Shark before the exploit, you should be compensated one-to-one -one with JAWS. And JAWS is going to start out with a price of $1.20. Who knows what's going to happen after that. Um, so, if you're waiting on that airdrop, keep in mind the order of all this. When you see the JAWS jungle pools opening up on Panther Swap, you know that that airdrop is coming soon. And so you know you can start um, doing what you need to do with your JAWS. JAWS, and then after that, they're going to turn the Minter on. So then you're actually going to be start getting your JAWS as rewards for the pools and the staking that you're doing. Stage three. That's when they're going to start opening the vaults on Auto Shark. So we're going to that's kind of like the re relaunch of the pools and the farms on auto launch auto shark jaws BNB jaws BUSD then after that so those are going to be the first two vaults after that they're going to release the BNB BUSD BTCB BNB and FBNB vaults that's going to be the last wave of vaults opened after that so that's how they're going to compensate all the people who were holding shark, had LPs, etc. before exploit. Now when the exploit happened, there was a couple hours where people had to figure things out. The team was working. The team was trying to figure out what to do. And people were speculating on what was going to happen by buying shark at exploit prices and hoping that it would go up in the future. So those people will be those people are also thought about they're also considered in this plan and they will be compensated after the pre exploit holders so that's pretty much um, the plan the last thing I want to stress for you guys is this plan seems pretty good seems pretty well put together seems like they really are trying to keep our interests in mind um, and the most important thing guys is to familiarize yourself with this plan, figure out where you interact with it, where your holdings are and what you need to do to get in on that compensation. So that's kind of my opinion, my advice on this. It looks great. I'm hoping that it, it, the actual relaunch turns out as great as this plan is. And we're all waiting on it. So appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody. Shout out to the Auto Shark team for working hard these past past week or two um, to put this together and to do whatever they can to make right by their investors. Thank you guys for watching.